Fire and Gold. Fire and Gold is, the, is a student troupe. They will be performing to Ungodly Fruit. We hope you enjoy Rachel, AJ, Eleni, Mary. We love to sing, we love to dance, we admire beautiful women. We're human, and sometimes very human. necessary for the minds and souls of us all. So Prince returns to us now, performing a spectacular.
That was Jewel Prince. And now returning, we have Skirt Full of Fire and Fire and Gold. <laughs> Zavřu oči, tak se zamyslím a slyším, slyším tvůj nádherný hlas, nemůžu spát. Vidím tvoje modré oči v myšlenkách. Jsi moje bílá paní, ale nechci lhát. Já tě totiž nemůžu mít rád. I kdybych chtěl, tak všechno bude proti nám. Before we talk a little bit, I would like to thank all of our crew also today. Um, we have Kevin, who is directing, and Duke in the control room. Thanks a lot, you guys, and all the people at Access Tucson that help us keep this going. And today we have Joe Cox on camera. Thank you, Joe. Joe also has his own show here at Access called The Flying Circus, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. And we also. Uh, Flying Circus Club, thank you, the Flying Circus Club. And also Patrick Armstrong on camera today. So thank you very much. We couldn't do any of our shows without our crew. So Kiko, that was, that was amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you. And um, tell us how long that you've been dancing. I'd say about seven or eight years. Seven or eight years? Going and on eight years, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, what caused you to get started with, with belly dance or? Uh well, I've always been a dancer, regardless of um, cultural or um, hip hop. Or I've been, I've been, I've been in quite a few. I've been quite a few dancing. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine introduced me to Egyptian cabaret, and that's how I got started. So eight years ago, and what other uh, styles of dance mo were you involved with? Before I have that? done hip hop. I've done a little bit of modern, I've done African, I've done Native American, I've also done a little bit of Spaniard. Well, yeah, Spaniard. It's just, it's been, it's been a part of um, the way I grew up. My mom taught me 50s, mm -hmm. how to do like the 50s style. So I've been, I've been raised into dancing. So you've, you've been dancing for forever, it for, sounds like. For since I was a child, yeah. And, um, uh, talk to us about um, the, what you're doing now, and also, of course, we have to say it's somewhat unusual. You are a male belly dancer, 
And um, uh, do people uh, give you a hard time about that? Mm. Mm, I don't know. I really don't pay attention to that. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, I might get a little bit of um, weird looks, or like people will will be like, "Oh, I didn't even know male belly dancers, you know, they were, are out there." And I was like, "Well, we're out there, just not in Tucson. There's there's quite a few of us." But in bigger cities, mm -hmm. there are some male belly dancers in bigger mm -hmm. cities. It's, it's more known. Um, tell us a little bit uh, about the history of, of that and what you know about the, the history of the, the male belly dancer. Well, from what I was told a long time ago is that men were the first male, the first belly dancers, you know, in ancient times um, before it got predominated by um, the ladies. So, um, now we're starting, there's, there's a big movement now in like the world where male belly dancers are coming out more and more. So, you know, it doesn't matter what nationality, creed, lifestyle, they're, they're, they're coming out. They're coming out a lot more. Uh, and uh, I, I know that um, uh, as women, we, we love to have the male dancers around. You know, we enjoy that a lot. Uh, I, I don't know if I agree with you that uh, it was started by men. That's, that's not the history that I understand uh, from the history of belly dance. So um, talk to me a, a little bit more about that. I don't know. Uh, somebody had told me this a long time ago, and they were into um, the Middle Eastern culture, and she told me a long time ago. So mm -hmm. I was informed that you know men were belly dancers back in ancient times. So it's, um, it's not unheard of. No, it's certainly not not unheard of, and of course, in in the modern Middle East, um, we have the folk dancing tradition, mm -hmm. um, of course, which men are are very very strong in. Well, you gave us an amazing array of performances here today. We we saw you do the Egyptian cabaret, uh, the gypsy the gypsy veil, and then of course your final number, which was the sword. And are these all your own choreographies? I just go by what feels right to me, mm -hmm. and I wanted to show that um, I have diversity. So I, um, I actually put a piece of that, the sword, you know. But other than that, I'm usually improv. Mm -hmm. And and we know belly dance uh, is 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 usually improvisational. Mm -hmm. um, of course, with group dancing, we have to have a choreography. So yes, but uh, it is the self-expression of the dancer, and that's what's beautiful about it. Well, I admire what you did. You're, ve you're very accomplished. Oh, thank you. And very accomplished as a dancer. And do you make your own costumes? you put them together yourself? I do put these together. Sometimes I see a shirt, I'll reinvent it. If I see, like, some pants, like, these are reinvented from pajamas, these, these shreds. Uh-huh. Yeah, so if I can see something that I can reinvent, I will reinvent them. The jewelry piece up here, I reinvented that. Mm -hmm. that that's really stunning. Thank that's you. very stunning. Now, um, I have to ask you about the tail. Yes, I'm in the troupe, and we have a tail. Uh, and <laughs> and we tell go, us about that. It's um, Lori. She's my teacher, and mm -hmm. I'm in her troupe. And our name is like Kiska, she wolf, and I happen to be the he wolf. So. We have a tail. Oh, that's great. And uh, so when you perform together, do all the, the dancers wear a tail in, in some of the routines? or? Yeah, when we're doing groups, mm -hmm. yes. I just decided that I would put the tail on today. Oh, I, I liked it, and, and I've never seen that before, so that w it, was pretty, it was pretty interesting. So I think you should stand up so we can get a close-up. And uh, turn around so we can see the whole costume. The, the costuming is is really pretty amazing. Yeah, you, you did an amazing job with that. Uh, what else would you like to tell us? What would you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, are you available for performances? Uh, is that something that, that you do in case people would want to contact you? Uh, yeah. Sad, and let, uh, let, the, uh, let the viewers know where they can, can find you in case they want to find you. I'm on Facebook. Facebook.com slash? Um, <laughs> I'm on Facebook. Okay. Can find him on Facebook. Are you under Jewel Prince? I'm under Kiko Alcantar. Okay. A L C A N T A R. And how did you select your stage name? How did I select my stage name? Oh, that's quite an interesting story. Mm -hmm. When I started belly dancing, 
um, I had a friend, and uh, he was a dr- he was you know he was performing. He's a he does well. I don't know if he's still doing it, but he was a drag queen, and I asked him about names, and I asked him about Joe Prince, and he's like, I like that name, because we I had a few I had like some other names, and he said that that was a really um he liked it, so mm-hmm. I, I thought it would fit me well. I think it does suit you very well. I I like it. I only got a thousand and some jewelry. I think I need more. But, yeah, it's just, yeah. Uh, could work on that, right? Yes. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being here with us today on Walking on the